Hi, I'm Rachel Scott, and this is my photo story. Let's take a walk and see how word walls can transform our teaching to help students in reading and writing. A word wall is a tool that will help teach or reinforce vocabulary, spelling, phonics, reading, writing strategies, letter sound correspondence, and reading and writing fluency. Word walls are most often found in the lower elementary grades, but can be useful up through high school if used properly. Word walls should be exciting and fun. One way you can make it fun for your students is by playing a game. There are many games that can be played, but my two favorite are the game called Bang and Around the World. For the game Bang, you put all the sight words in a learning box. The children sit in a circle and each take a word from the box. If they can read the word, they get to keep it. If they can't, the word is returned to the box. If they pull a card with the word bang from the box, all the cards they've collected so far must be returned to the box. The child at the end of the game with the most cards is the winner. And for around the world, when playing this game, all the students sit in a circle or they can stay at their desks. One student stands behind another who is sitting. The teacher flashes them a sight word. Whichever child says the word first will move on to the next student. The student who makes it back to his or her own desk or the starting point is the winner. Word walls are not used as decoration. Word walls are made to be interactive. Some ways of doing this would include opera, singing the letters in an opera fashion, flying like a bird, flapping your arms up and down, holding your nose and spelling it out, or students might enjoy beating it out on the desk as they say each letter, snapping and clapping. You snap the vowels and clap the consonants. Or my favorite, explosion. You start out at a whisper, you get louder with each letter and explode when the word is said at the end. These are just a few ways of getting your students interacting with the words on your word wall. In order for a word wall to be useful in the classroom, the students also need to interact with it while reading and writing. As students progress and move into the middle and high school years, students will choose the words they think should be included in the word wall. These words should be chosen from books read in the classroom, textbook reading, or teacher instruction. The teacher may also want to include words that are being covered in a thematic unit. For students in these grades, it is important for them to understand the multiple meaning of words. A word wall can be designed and created however the teacher may like, as long as it is neat, easy to read, and accessible to the children in the classroom. You may be asking yourself, how will this help my students that are struggling in reading and writing? One way a word wall is helpful to your struggling students is that it will include words that your students commonly use in their writing and see when they are reading. For the words that are posted and are not commonly used in writing, your struggling students will start to recognize the words and as they hear the words, they learn to use them in their writing. For students who struggle with dyslexia, word walls allow them to see the words and develop word recognition, allowing them the ability to read and write fluently. Don't worry, I didn't forget about your English learners. Word walls will help build vocabulary as they use them in writing, see them in reading, and as you use them during instruction. Word walls can be individualized according to each student's need. These small word walls allow students to have words they struggle with in front of them so that they do not disturb the class during a quiet reading assignment. Why use this reading strategy in your classroom? One, it will help build your students' vocabulary. Two, it will increase their reading fluency, and three, students will begin to learn how to spell those high-frequency words. With these three things improving, your students' reading and writing skills will improve, whether they are a struggling student, an English learning student, or an advanced learner. Thank you for taking this journey with me as we learned about the reading strategy known as a word wall. I hope that through this, you are able to see how all students can benefit from a word wall in your classroom. 
Don't forget to have fun with your students as you improve their reading and writing skills.